Pope Francis has paid a somber visit to the Nazi German Second World War death camp at Auschwitz-Birkenau. He began by walking through the notorious entrance gate bearing the cynical message, Arbeit macht frei, work will make you free. Francis is the third consecutive pope to make the pilgrimage to the camp where as many as one and a half million people were killed. Before the visit, he'd said he wanted to go to that place of horror without speeches, without crowds, alone, enter, pray. In front of block 11, the so-called death block, Francis kissed a wooden post from which inmates were hung by their arms or beaten as punishment. After meeting the Polish Prime Minister, Beata Szydła, the Pope spoke with a dozen or so Auschwitz survivors, including a woman aged 101. Greeting them, he shook their hands and kissed each on the cheeks. At the spot where many were executed by firing squad, Francis left a large white candle and again prayed. Inside the death block, the Pope visited a cell containing the memorial to Maximilian Kolb, a Polish Catholic monk who volunteered to take the place of a man whom a camp commandant had ordered should be starved to death. There too, the Pope sat in silent contemplation. Pope Francis was then taken the short distance to Birkenau, the part of the camp where most of the killings were carried out in gas chambers. There, surrounded by guard towers and barbed wire fences, he bent his head before a memorial to the victims, most of whom were Jewish. Poland's chief rabbi sang in Hebrew a psalm for the dead, watched by an audience including Auschwitz survivors. Also present to meet Pope Francis were Christian Poles who had helped to save Jews during World War II.